At the most basic level, Bing ads work like Google AdWords. So if you're familiar with the concept of PPC in general, you can probably fast forward some of this video. Still here? Then let's quickly recap. Essentially, PPC ads are pay-per-click ads. That means you'll literally be paying per click, paying for each person who clicks on one of your adverts. The reason this is such good news is that you'll never pay anything for a campaign that was a complete failure. If you create an advertising campaign for Bing and not one person looks at it, then it will literally cost you nothing. It also means you can precisely calculate the cost of each visitor to your site. Now, this is important because you can use that information to calculate how much each customer is worth and thereby start making very accurate projections about your earnings and identifying the best ways to spend your money. So the next logical question is how much you're going to spend on each click. And the good news is that you get to choose this. You get to choose your maximum spend and you also get to choose your budget for the day. First, you define your CPC or cost per click, which is going to be the maximum amount of money that you're willing to spend for each new visitor. You'll probably want to keep this fairly low. The most that brands will generally tend to spend is up to $2, but even that's unusual. Generally though, you'll want to set this a bit lower and your average will probably come in at around 10 to 20 cents. The next thing to do is to set your daily budget. Once the accumulated clicks you've received reach this amount, they'll stop and you won't spend any more money. So in theory, if you set your CPC to 20 cents and you set your daily spend to $20, that should mean you get 100 visits to your site for that amount. But things get a little more complicated, seeing as you don't tend to spend the full amount of your CPC. That's because there's a bidding system that takes place, which means you'll often spend a lot less. Now, the way this works is quite simple. If there are two or more adverts, both competing for the same space on Bing, then they will enter into a bidding war. The ad with the highest CPC will be the one that wins and gets shown, but the owner of that ad will only be charged the minimum amount that it needed to win. The easiest way to understand this is to just think of it a bit like eBay. You know, on eBay you can set your maximum bid, but you'll only end up paying $1 more than the next highest bidder. And the same is true with most PPC campaigns, and that's why you'll end up spending 33.5% less on Bing versus Google, because the lower amount of competition means that your CPC won't be as likely to get driven up. And of course, you also need to consider that your ads will be shown to a lot of people who don't click. You don't pay anything for these ads, but that doesn't mean they're worthless to you because you'll still be getting exposure and you'll still be starting to build your brand. The other thing that most PPC ad networks have in common is the ability to target a specific demographic. And this means that you can identify who your buyer persona is and profile your ideal customer from there. Then you can target that person specifically with your adverts. The way you do this with both Bing Ads and Google AdWords is by targeting search terms. When you pay for these ads, you're literally putting your adverts on the SERPs relating to a particular search term. You do this by choosing a keyword or key phrase, which is going to be the thing that you want people to search for in order to find your site. So, for example, if you were selling a hat, your key phrase would probably be buy hat online or cheap hats, etc. This is now a targeted ad because it lets you advertise specifically to people who are looking to buy the thing you have. That means they'll fit within your target audience and actually this makes them qualified leads. Another way this might work is by going the slightly long-term route and focusing on search terms related to interest. You might have a site where you blog about fitness, for example, and sell supplements and training clothing. In this case, your keyword might be how to lose weight or fitness articles. A good keyword is going to be one that is both popular with your specific target audience and that is not overly competitive. We'll look at this in more detail in the subsequent videos. Rounding out the holy trinity of PPC networks is Facebook ads. 
Facebook ads are similar to Google AdWords or Bing ads in terms of being PPC, but the difference is in where the ads are shown and how they're targeted. As you might have guessed, Facebook ads are shown on Facebook and will appear in the home feed and sidebars while you're browsing. These show ads which are once again tailored to the person using Facebook. But this differs in so far as the ads are targeted based on information the user has given Facebook. Information such as their age, their sex, their marital status, their location and even their hobbies and interests. This allows you to even more precisely target the right person, but not necessarily at the right time when they're looking for products. When someone is browsing Facebook to catch up with their friends, they're more likely to be just frustrated to see your adverts popping up. With all this in mind, Facebook ads is another useful platform to add to your campaign in conjunction with Bing and Google AdWords. Just make sure you're using the right ads for the right location. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.